Well, hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul. Thank you for joining my live stream. I just saw myself in the video and I see that I'm wearing quite the bright shirt. Black and white, it just jumps right out there. So hopefully it's not too much for the live stream audience. I'm here today inside of Master Shaw's Tao Healing Temple. And this temple is in Honolulu. <clears throat> and the reason it's called Master Shaw's Tao Healing Temple is because Master Shaw is an amazing servant to humanity. He has dedicated his life to serve me, you, and all humanity. And in fact, he has dedicated his life to serve all souls. And so, as a dedicated servant to humanity, he has received uh, the most extraordinary healing abilities um, and the abilities to transfer this wisdom, information, and uh, ability to others. <clears throat> so it is truly remarkable, really, that we have the opportunity in this day and age to witness and be around miracles. Miracles happen literally every day here at Master Shah's Tao Healing Temple. And, you know, what is the definition of a miracle? Um, I don't know, I don't have the dictionary in front of me, but I would state it to be something that uh, you witness but are not able to comprehend and therefore we give that category of being a miracle. And yet here at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center I am so blessed to witness those kinds of things on such a continuous and daily basis that <clears throat> I never, I no longer actually refer to it as a miracle. I refer to it as just a way of life uh, here at this temple and, and a way of service and, the, and it is directly associated to Dr. and Master Shah's um, wisdom and teachings on soul. And so this will be applied today. Uh, we'll be talking about soul for the healing and balancing of emotional pain. So I want to acknowledge those who have joined at this time. Welcome Yvonne, welcome Kat. <clears throat> and I see there are some other people that have joined. Welcome JD, great to see you here as well. And thank you, Pat JD, um, for the referrals. Uh, I saw three or four people from uh, referred from you that know you that have asked me to be a Facebook friend. I'm hoping that they'll either join or watch this at a later time. And so as I was saying, one of the great features of being uh, a student and then eventually being blessed to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah is the opportunity to witness <clears throat> how people's lives can be transformed and changed in a much shorter period of time than through virtually any other modality I've come across out there. And I'm, I'm confident, I know, it is simply because of the nature of soul and the nature of the uh, healing transmissions and um, uh, instruments uh, of healing that have been brought to earth at this time by, by this most benevolent being. <clears throat> Today, as we go into the subject of healing emotional pain, we're going to talk about what is it, why uh, it comes to us, you know, and how we can transform it. And if we can gather enough people today, then I will also offer a healing demonstration for this condition. So we're in for a very big day. It could be quite exciting. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you for joining. And welcome, C. John. <clears throat> Good night, everyone, she says. So hopefully it's uh, something you'll watch in the future. So emotions and emotional pain. You know, I was thinking about this before today's show. And it's something that I've had to become very comfortable with and something that in growing up I was not comfortable with. And emotions, uh, there's, a, there's a lot more than we normally talk about. The normal conversation is around fear, anger, um, frustration, what's a few more that are common, worry, okay? uh, anxiety, I'm anxious. People actually don't say out loud, I'm depressed, because then, then they might feel judged. Welcome, Kristen. And this tends to be the gamut of the emotions that we normally speak of. 
<clears throat> my awareness was much, much less. Welcome, Johnny. Thank you for joining. So my awareness of emotions was much, much less. And um, I was in a relationship, uh, feels like a lifetime ago, but it was probably about uh, 15, 17 years ago, in which it was quite codependent, and I um, <clears throat> was not well-skilled in the emotional arena. And I went through a tremendous amount of emotional pain beyond what I ever thought was possible. Uh, it was a very imbalanced relationship in which I played the role of the victim. And um, it taught, taught me a huge amount of information. One of the things that I received from this is uh, a better way to communicate our emotions. And it's called the Center for Nonviolent Communication. You should write that one down and Google it, Center for Nonviolent Communication. And it was invented by a person who was hired by presidents to go to warring nations where um, tribes and uh, uh, factions, you know, do very unpleasant things to each other's families. <clears throat> and this person was sent there. And what he did is he brought a team with him and they would sit down with these people that were ready to, to kill each other and he would teach them to communicate in the language of feelings and needs. And he would give them a vocabulary of feelings more than, you know, I feel angry. Uh, there's actually well over a hundred. And he would give them a vocabulary of needs. What are you really needing? And he was literally able to, to completely wind down full-on wars. And he brought this to the human language back here in the form of helping us at the human level, at the real world level that we operate in, <clears throat> in, this, uh, in this structure called nonviolent communication. So it would be of great value for you to learn more about that, as I, I can tell you it was a tremendous. But going to a deeper level, the teachings of Dr. and Master Shah talk about that everything has a soul. Everything has a soul. So what does that mean? Does that mean your emotions have a soul? Yes, absolutely, your emotions have a soul. How is this possible? You know, I've been told my whole life that a soul is only in the human body, maybe animals. Uh, beyond that, may be difficult to understand. For those that have followed the teachings of Master Shah, then they're, they're not overly uh, surprised by this information. But there will be those that watch this video in the future and they'll be, they'll be shaking their head. Really? Everything has a soul? And the simple uh, solution is that everything is created by the source, by the divine, and that has the spark of the energy and matter of the divine in it. Uh, the divine is a soul, and therefore that everything that comes from the divine also has a soul. So before an uh, invention is created, it is first thought of. That thought is a soul that eventually coagulates to create an actual manifestation. When we have experiences that create emotional pain, sometimes they're as a result of things that we have held inside of us and it gets triggered again and again and again. <clears throat> and sometimes it's as a result of the relationships that we've been in in which we have not honored ourself. And so that emotional pain can be a pain of guilt. It can be a pain of insufficiency or a lack of self-worth. Emotional pain can also come from the outside and we can be the victim like I was in that relationship. And it can come in the form of uh, a worthlessness you know, when, when someone, you can never do enough to please the other. Uh, and unfortunately, in the Western culture, there is quite a few teachings out there that teach of a, of a, um, a divine that is conditional, that you must uh, earn the right to be loved unconditionally. And it's very sad because that actually brings a great deal of emotional pain as well in the form of guilt and insufficiency, etc. So emotional pain actually comes at us from quite a few different angles. Um, oftentimes it has deep roots. Some of those roots are in this life experience and some of them come from previous life. And that is what's called karma. It can be our own karma or it could potentially be ancestral karma. When we apply the understanding of soul and the power of soul to how to transform these kinds of blockages, we can have 
truly stunning uh, transformation in a relatively short period of time. Now, part of it is the makeup of the individual. In general, guys, we're not very strong with understanding or expressing emotions, which tends to make the women a bit crazy because all they're really asking for us to do is listen, and we can't even do that uh, because we don't have the makeup with which to do so unless we're trained to do so. And I don't mean trained by you, I mean educated. And so uh, this brings emotional pain to the woman in this example. She tries to explain to the guy, the guy gives her a solution, expects that that will shut her up, and of course it doesn't work because she hasn't been validated. The man doesn't understand that, hence more emotional pain. Then the guy doesn't know what's wrong when she starts getting upset with him. It doesn't matter if it's a a male-male relationship, a female-female relationship, or a male-female relationship. The same wisdom applies to all of these uh, examples of emotional pain. So it shows up in so many different ways. Sometimes it shows up in the form of fear or um, worry for those that are mothers. We fear and worry about the health and well-being of our children. Okay? For those that are caretakers, we fear for the health and well-being of our parents. And so all of these have roots that can be softened And if the the emotional pain is such that you don't want it anymore, those can also be transformed using the power of soul. So uh, yesterday I had a client, and he uh, he has a brain injury, so his ability to remember things is is minimal. And I explained to him uh, the say hello blessing, communicating with the soul world. There's inner souls and there's outer souls. Quick teaching. Inner souls are all those inside our body, and outer souls are all those outside of our body. And so when we're working with soul healing, we want to be able to recognize that healing emotional pain is about connecting at the level of soul. As discussed earlier, everything has a soul. So that means that the soul of a relationship can be addressed at that level. That means the soul of the emotions can be addressed at that level. But we want to address it with more than our mind. We want to address it with more than the skill set that we have as an individual. The reason we're in a painful place is because we don't have the skill set to deal with it. So we must go out of our way long enough to empower ourselves to deal with it. Now, we can handle so much on our own. And we can do that through love and forgiveness and the application of soul power, which we're going to do a bit of today. And then there's the divine services, which help to clear it substantially faster. So I want to take a moment and acknowledge uh, uh, Mailana, Cynthia, uh, and uh, Allison and Kayla. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate uh, your presence very much. So when I was preparing for today, I was guided to this book. This book is from Dr. and Master Shah. It was written about five, almost six years ago, called Divine Transformation. And one of the unique things about Dr. and Master Shah is he writes the books in flow. I was actually in a workshop when he was standing on stage and he was dictating the book as he was hearing the words from heaven. <clears throat> and Master Cynthia was off to the side typing the words to the book that showed up in one of the chapters here. This is how he does it. He takes about a week, just receives the information, writes the book. So in here, Master Shah puts extraordinary power. He puts what's called a divine transmission. Now, you may have have watched some children's cartoons or heard uh, stories about the, the student that follows the master through, the, through the, the woods and the mountains for 30 years, and at the end of the master's life, the master touches the student's forehead and transmits everything he's ever learned. Uh, that's what's called a transmission. This is not hocus pocus stuff. This is very real, and it happens uh, often. But what, what Dr. and Master Shah has been able to do is to transmit power into objects and things, like this book, like this calligraphy behind me. And when we utilize these outer souls to assist us with our personalized problems, we can get transformation dramatically faster. Welcome, Donna, and welcome, Crystal. Thank you for joining. So 
how do we do this? The first thing I wish to do is offer you one of the most important blessings you can receive. It is called a divine transmission. And Master Shah has placed them in this book. And the one I'm going to offer is to develop harmony, to harmonize your emotions. And if we gather enough people today, I will also offer a very special blessing. Now I'm also going to ask you, all of you, to write, uh, write in what your emotional blockage is, your main emotional pain. And I will do a soul reading as to the source and the potential solution. And we'll spend about 30 minutes on that. Uh, and I'm going to, while you're doing that, I'm going to transmit this uh, blessing to everybody on the line. So please stop for a moment and prepare for this blessing. This is very, very huge. This is what's called a divine soul, and it carries the divine's frequency of the divine's harmony. Your harmony is insufficient, otherwise you wouldn't have emotional pain. The divine's harmony can solve many, many problems. So we're going to receive it, and we're going to use it. Okay? So, prepare to receive. Divine order. Divine rainbow light ball, divine rainbow liquid spring of divine harmony, soul mind body transplant to everybody watching this video. Transmission! Divine order, divine rainbow light ball, divine rainbow liquid springs of divine harmony mind transplants to everybody watching this video. Transmission! Divine order, divine rainbow light ball, divine rainbow liquid spring of divine harmony body transplant from this book, through Master Shah to you. Transmission. Divine order, divine rainbow light ball, divine rainbow liquid springs of divine harmony, soul mind body transplants, join as one. Hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, 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 yo, yo, yo. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. You have received huge treasures that on your own would take you well over 200 lifetimes of service creating harmony to receive a rainbow light ball the size of what you just received the with the intensity and power and the frequency and the ability to transform your life this transmission can be turned on anytime you wish for any condition you wish driving in the car and you feel a bit upset by the driver next to you the children are a bit loud you want to calm them down you want to offer a blessing to your pet the conditions are limitless. The treasure is permanent. It is now a part of your soul. So let us turn it on. This is how we do it. Repeat after me. Dear the divine rainbow light ball and rainbow liquid spring of divine harmony, I love you and appreciate you. Please turn on. If you can't remember all that, dear my divine harmony transmission, please turn on. Please bless me to transform my emotional pain for and list that condition that you're having the most emotional pain around. Now, Master Shah's book, he gives very simple guidance. Divine harmony clears all of my emotional pain with this condition. Divine harmony, repeat, divine harmony clears all of my emotional pain for this condition and you state your condition again divine harmony clears all my emotional pain for this condition divine harmony clears all my emotional pain for this condition divine harmony clears all of my emotional pain for this condition divine harmony close your eyes divine harmony clears all of my emotional pain for this condition divine harmony clears all of my emotional pain for this condition. Divine harmony clears all of my emotional pain for this condition. Divine harmony clears all of my emotional pain for this condition. Divine harmony clears all of my emotional pain for this condition. Divine harmony clears all of my emotional pain for this condition. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So maybe we'll do some more with this. So now, uh, go ahead and start writing in 
your question about whatever particular emotional pain you're experiencing, and I will offer divine guidance on that. And we'll see what we can do to utilize this treasure to assist us. So C. John writes, emotional pain for me is deep, deep grief. Thank you for the transmission. You are very welcome. To the soul of C. John, to the soul of the deep, deep grief that she is experiencing, and any uh, wisdom from heaven that can assist this beloved soul with releasing this depth of suffering and returning to a balanced series of emotions. Please offer our beloved C. John this wisdom at this time. Hall. There is very few words that can assist one that is in deep grief. The reason deep grief occurs in most cases <clears throat> is because of the loss of the physical world love that has been experienced. What we wish to say with the knowingness that it will not release the grief is that this love that was experienced in the physical realm is but the essence of what the soul that has left feels. What they actually experience when the crossing over occurs is about a billion times higher love than what is experienced here. And if the one suffering the grief can somehow allow that knowingness to bring salve, calmness, and healing to their wound, then they will be much more able to move forward in a healthy way. It is the inability to realize that the love has truly not left. It is the inability to align to that love in knowingness instead of physicalness that must be learned. We hope this wisdom shared offers a bit of solution for you. It would be of value for you to chant with the treasure you have received to transform the perspectives and allow for these suggested truths to enter your aura. This is the soul world. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully that serves you, see John. And Yvonne says, I experienced 10 years of project challenges, emotional pain from corrupted people in positions. The stress almost caused me nervous breakdown. And it takes me more than one year almost to drop everything. <clears throat> now I see, uh, now I'm okay, but I'd like to know why. So immediately what they're telling me, Yvonne, is that um, 
this lifetime for you was an opportunity to experience the pain that had been caused um, in a previous time when you were in almost an identical series of roles um, that you currently experienced. And there were um, souls that knew that what you have experienced this time was wrong. And um, they wanted you to have the same value that they received because what happened is in the reverse role when you played the role of the the um, the ones that were manipulating and, 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 and greed and corruption and all that many of them turned to their spiritual nature and became grateful and appreciative after the fact they were able to recognize that it was a catalyst of what they did not want and so this a message has been brought to you so that you would have that same opportunity uh, and the opportunity to clear that karma at the same time. So uh, congratulations on passing your test and move forward with this wisdom. Oh. So Donna uh, refers to heartache as one of her pains. I think everybody in this uh, line has had some heartache. So let's do a reading and I ask for information for everybody. Dear heaven, dear Tao, dear source, dear the soul of the condition of heartache uh, and, ex and this emotional pain, can you please offer collectively um, insights and suggestions to all those that are in this place as to how to transform this to release as easy as possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? Heartache is truly a reflection of an open heart, open message center in which a unexpected experience, an experience that was traumatic or there was a series of expectations that did not go as planned. When somebody's heart and their heart center is open to align to the love that is all that is, there is also the opportunity to receive experiences that could be met with ambivalence or could be met with the depth of the grief of the highest level of pain. The answer ideally is in the middle one in which the open heart remains open and at the same time there is a far greater alignment and trust to the nature of the plan of life. Heartache can occur from the loss of life, from the loss of a heartfelt relationship, and from other sources. <clears throat> and when this kind of pain occurs, the best panacea is self-love and gratitude for the opportunity to have received the fraction of the love that the soul world is always making available to you. It is the physical world that creates an environment in which souls in the physical can experience heart opening in such a profound way. And all that is missing that would allow for this experience to not be so unpleasant sometimes is the constant connection to the soul world 
in love and in trust. If that were the constancy of the connection, then if someone in the physical whose heart you have opened to decided to move differently in their soul direction, the connection with the divine and source would allow for a far less fall and pain. Move your heart towards fulfillment from the divine and the heart ache will diminish in accordance. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you for that, that wisdom divine. That'll be a good one to remember when I'm continued working on my soulmate uh, attraction book. Okay, so Kristen says, <clears throat> not sure really though I had experienced a lot of frustration regarding a situation. So general reactions of frustration. Okay. To the soul of the reaction of frustration. I, I have this often, so as a divine channel, we, we're required to transform things quickly. <laughs> so uh, I'm curious as to what heaven offers on this one as well, Kristen. <clears throat> to the soul of this question on frustration, please offer advice for all those that are watching this video. <clears throat> this condition in every occasion is as a result of a series of expectations based on the patterns that have been set forth by the person that is experiencing the frustration. When things do not align the way they are expected or needed so that the person can meet their goal, get there on time, achieve the intended result, etc., etc., then frustration sets in. This, in a nutshell, is the origination of frustration. How do we transform this emotional pain? The first is to acknowledge versus react. Be more of the observer. Ah, I see that this is the case. I have to recognize that this will impact this and this and that. What is the best way in which I can complete my intention and still remain in joy? The first is to acknowledge that it has happened, therefore I cannot change the potential outcome based on this new piece of information that has arrived. Secondly, I may need to recognize that there is potentially a reason why this experience occurred. So I will open my heart and my mind that I could receive additional value, that I might have avoided something more painful in the future because time was put off by accomplishing what I intended, etc. By changing the mind, choosing to adopt it, accept it, and make conscious choices about how to move forward with this as a truth, and by twisting it a bit to say, maybe heaven has something planned or they are lining something up so that I can receive some additional benefit or avoid being harmed. With this perspective, you can maintain the right mindset, the right energy, and whatever you have put forth into your future life, your future manifestation, will be not impacted negatively by a derailment of your perspective in that moment. In this way, you have the highest propensity of manifesting what you put your greatest intention on in divine timing. We hope that this wisdom assists all of you. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so Stephanie, hi, Master Paul. I have suffered much with fear and lack of confidence. Any insights would be appreciated. Okay. And so, <clears throat> let me check something.
Okay, so let me answer this question, Stephanie. To the soul of Stephanie Cannon, Stephanie's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, Saints, love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you as appropriate. I invite you to please be present, to please offer any guidance for Stephanie at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For our beloved daughter, Stephanie, you came from a plane in the heavenly realms that when entering into this physical experience has left you a bit unsettled. You can't seem to understand why humanity destroys each other, why there is so much hatred, disrespect, pornography, why there is such disdain and lack of honoring of the divine and alignment with nature, respect of nature, and more. You are in most cases simply aghast of the complete separation of humanity from these natural and obvious things. And so you have developed a way of being in this physical life. And this includes being quite protective. What you have not allowed yourself to align enough to is trust. It is not that you do not know this. It is that you have not found how to put your foot down in a way that allows you to step into that trust on a consistent basis. Our recommendation to you, our beloved one, is to just do it. If you want to go in a particular direction, trust and do that. If you want to meet that person, trust and do that. Talk to us in heaven first. Tell us where you're headed and what you wish to accomplish. We will put forth the right conditions so that you can achieve your goals. We deeply honor and appreciate your strength even in coming in at this most important time but you are unable to serve in the way you intended before you came in until you move more into trust. And truly, the only way you can accomplish that is to just do it. But allow that we can accomplish what we know how to do. Uh, and at the same time, pay attention to the previous information that if something doesn't work out and creates a frustration, that it could be a divine timing as well. It is your lack of trust that has led to your inability to feel comfortable in your own shoes in this earth experience. So work more towards that. Ask us to give you opportunities, very small ones, and we will give you those opportunities. And each time you will see that we are there to support you. This is your heaven's team. Oh, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a beautiful message from your heaven's team, Stephanie. Congratulations on that. <clears throat> Welcome, Tina. Welcome, Leanne. And Crystal says, fear of something causes anxiety. And Leanne says, is there something being held over me causing me to never get better? And Kristen says, that's right on the money. I do believe I try to observe, but as my mother used to tell me, it is the sudden startle that spoils your soil. Your soul. The sudden startle that spoils your soul. I like that. Thank you to your mom. And welcome, uh, Margaret. So now we'll back up here. Uh, Johnny has talked about emotional pain of fear. Okay. So I've got... Let me check something again, please. 
Okay. So I am going to uh, I'm going to choose one of you for a demonstration. <clears throat> so bear with me as I check each one of you. Okay. So congratulations, Stephanie. You will be in my demonstration today. And what Stephanie is going to receive is a crown chakra blessing. This will be a, a very, very, very special blessing. And um, <clears throat> we've done a soul reading already for Stephanie as to the, um, what is happening. And so I will offer this crown chakra blessing. I'm going to call her soul and um, offer this blessing. And then we'll do a soul reading as to the results of it. Now I want to give you a little more information on what is a crown chakra blessing. So I'm going to do a flow on this so you understand what a crown chakra blessing is first. To the soul of what is a crown chakra blessing. And the highest, the most, uh, most aligned explanation that can be offered at this time. Can you please... Uh, offer this wisdom to all those that are watching this video. Thank you. This is the divine. A crown chakra blessing is my blessing. Through your spiritual father, Master Shah, through this divine channel, delivering it to you. What is the crown chakra blessing? It is a release of my love, my compassion, my healing, my elixirs, my nectar, my orders to transform your blockages at the level of soul. With each blessing for each individual, there is a unique series of benefits. There are teams that are formed in that moment before a blessing is offered that consult about the nature of the blessing, what will be given the most attention, released, healed, and transformed. There is discussion about what heavenly herbs and or elixirs to be given to you. There are often teams that are assigned to you to assist you to transform whatever blockages have been, blessings have been given towards. A crown chakra blessing impacts the entirety of your soul body. People do not understand that karma impacts every aspect of your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual body. And it is not limited to the mind or the heart or the liver, etc. So a crown chakra blessing releases as appropriate the blockages in all the areas that it sits. I make the decision as the divine as to what kind and how much release is offered. It is not because I do not love you unconditionally that I do not give you full and complete release. It is that you must go through certain processes to reach my return 
to reach the return to me. And this would be changing your blueprint and your plan. That is not something that I would do based on my mandate of free will. However, I offer you the greatest that I can to stay in alignment with that law and to assist you to reach my heart and soul as quickly as possible. This is my explanation of what is a crown chakra blessing. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Stephanie, I'm going to move uh, the camera and everything right now, so give me a moment. Okay, so Stephanie, I'm going to call your soul to sit in this seat. I will be offering a crown chakra blessing like this. If there are those in the line that have third eye, uh, or they have the uh, soul communication abilities, you, you can share what you see or hear. I will prepare right now. To the soul of Stephanie Cannon, please come sit here at this time. Stephanie, you're at home. You will sit still with your feet flat on the floor. Your back will be a, away from the back of the chair. Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth gently. Keep it there the whole time. Take a deep breath in. I can feel your, your, your gratitude is so immense. The Divine's heart is very moved right now. He knows your gratitude. Keep your thoughts and your breath in your lower abdomen. I will prepare. One minute, please. Crown Chakra Blessing for Stephanie. For the condition of fear and trusting the Divine. Crown Chakra Blessing, two minutes. Begin. At this time, there is tremendous light that has been called forth from the Divine. It is clearing the blockages in the seven soul houses. It is spreading out to each of the organs and the associated blocked emotions in each of the organs. There is a layer of fear, self-doubt, concern, lack of worth that has found its way around the heart center, around the kidneys, around the spleen. And this is being dissolved. There is herbs being placed in time capsules that will be released in the appropriate increments and the appropriate times to assist her to heal and rejuvenate these areas. There has been a team formed from the realm she came from that will be with her through the remainder of this life experience, teach and guide her she is to call upon them often. Her heart is being cleansed and washed in 10,000 waves 
of healing light. The message center, which has carried financial blockages, is being given a great purification at this time, and virtue has been offered to her to achieve her service desires. This beloved child is very blessed on this day. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Tam YTM Divine. You are very, very blessed, Stephanie. I will put the camera back now. Okay. Congratulations. Very happy for you. So let us know if anybody had any third eye images, anything that they saw with that blessing, any messages that they might have received. Stephanie, you can let us know. And um, I wanted to let everybody know that if they have blockages of this nature, that these crown chakra blessings are available. You can check with any of the worldwide representatives. Master Shah offers these as a worldwide representative. I am very honored and blessed to offer you one as well. The honor fee is only $100, and the blessings can be quite extraordinary. They, they truly help us to transform these kinds of things in a much, much faster way because we often get in our own way. It's hard for us to transform things w when we're stuck in our mind, when we're stuck in our heart, when we're stuck in our emotions. And these kinds of blessings, um, they, they basically, it's just like a really big shovel and it just comes in and cleans them out. And we realign to the divine and to, the, to, you know, to Mother Earth in a much more powerful way. We're able to make better and clearer decisions when we do so. We're able to, um, to um, move to that next step that we've been wanting to move to in many, many cases. Uh, something, uh, something about karma and the way it works. You know, uh, we know, for example, that, that eating certain foods are going to be better for us and not eating certain foods are going to be better for us, but we still make those choices to eat the, the unpleasant foods or the ones that are not good for us. That's karma. And it shows up in emotions the same way. We want to move forward. We're aware of them, but sometimes we just can't get out of our own way. And it's the divine's mercy. It's the divine's love, forgiveness, compassion, and light, and frequency that melts those blockages. You know, believe me, don't believe me. I know a lot of you probably do, or you wouldn't be here today. But there will be folks that watch this that their question marks would be right above their head, probably a hundred of them popping up. You know, is this real? Is this hocus pocus? Honestly, I have no desire to impress upon you that, that it's true or not. I've been blessed to witness my spiritual father, Master Shah, do these kinds of blessings well over 1,000 times, and in each time has seen remarkable results. And having received this, this incredible authority with the opportunity to, to change people's lives, uh, I've also witnessed the same results. So I'm way beyond guessing. You'll need to go through your processes of validation to know that it works for you. So I'm so happy for our beloved Stephanie. She's such a, a beautiful servant. She wants so much to, to be of value and is, is constantly running into some blockages. And now we're starting to realize that uh, you know, she, she came from a heavenly realm that uh, was very pure. And to, to move into this very unpleasant world is a difficult choice. A lot of souls actually get lost because they came from a very pure place. And this world seems so cruel. And uh, so just know that that if you feel in that, that way, that um, what's really missing is your connection to heaven. You need a lot more time in connecting and trusting in heaven because that will help you a lot. So welcome, Bart. Welcome, uh, everyone else. And thank you for your congratulations to Stephanie. That shows an open heart. Welcome, Anne-Marie. Uh, I appreciate when I see those congratulations to Stephanie from others. You know, sometimes we, we want these things for ourselves, but when we can offer it to others, uh, our congratulations. It makes a big difference. <clears throat> so I want to complete today's uh, live stream by saying thank you and congratulations to all those who have come here today. Uh, thank you for your sharing this video afterwards. 
and uh, truly, truly appreciate your support. I hope I get to see any and all of you at Master Shah's upcoming retreat and with the Dabe Joe. Uh, I invite you to join us tonight here in Honolulu in a few hours. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursday nights. We have free availability. You can, we're doing live stream most of those nights. On Facebook, you can come to our um, Master Shah Dao Healing Center Honolulu page. Um, that's one way to watch us. Uh, you can also register through uh, drshaw.com. And you can attend both ways. I do recommend going to the drshaw.com website, registering that way, because the, the stream, the audio in general, is, is better. The video will be a little bit better. Um, but, but if you're unable to accomplish through that methodology, you can watch us on Facebook. Tonight, we'll be chanting for about two and a half hours, Love, Peace, and Harmony. Little breaks in between with soul readings. Um, that's one of the fastest ways to clear your karma. It's one of the fastest ways to open your heart, to remove grief. Because when you chant to serve others, then your blockage is just fluff off. So to be able to chant love, peace, and harmony from Master Shah's Tao Temple to serve others is one of the hugest blessings you could possibly accomplish. So I hope you're able to join us. And then tomorrow night we offer uh, Soul Healing Miracle Evenings with Master Orlando. She'll be probably doing some miracle calligraphy blessings. And then Thursday night is actually a practice evening. So all those that want to practice what their, with their healing abilities to serve others, to practice serving others, to receive healing while you're practicing, um, those are Thursday nights. So I invite you to come to all of those. It's always the same time, 6 to 9 Hawaii time. And if you can only make an hour or two, great. So thank you all for coming. I'm so grateful to have you all here. I'll be here tomorrow. Tomorrow's subject, bring your friends. Tomorrow's subject will be mental pain pain that starts at the mind level. You're very welcome, Stephanie. Um, she's experienced challenges and so very grateful. I know you are. Heaven knows you are. Heaven took great, very good care of you. So keep us posted. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Bring your friends. We're going to be talking about mind pain. See you then. Bye-bye.